What's going on everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Finral Grave and today I bring you guys a new video. Yesterday I did a live stream on Twitch drawing Espada from Bleach and the fun part about this is I'm drawing them representing their number in the number itself as a composition. So I had a really great fun and it's kind of like break my uh, stereotypical um, idea of the composition that I usually do. So I think uh, you guys gonna learn something from this video, hopefully. This video gonna be in time lapse and I sped it up 10 times. I mistakenly said it was 1000 times. It was foolish of me and because the video said it was like 1000% sped up so I think it was 10 times and it was originally made in 4 to 5 hour stream non-stop I hope you guys enjoy this video if you like this video or you want to see more content from me and leave a like, subscribe and share it around thank you very much guys So I already did like from 1 to 3 when I recorded this and currently we are on the number 4. So as you guys can see I tried so many uh, options that came up in my mind. This kind of practice is um, really... Uh, I think it's really good to fresh up our our mind on the usual composition that we use. So yeah, in here uh, I want Yulkyora to perform his trademark uh, attack, the Lansa del Delampago thingy. And this character is just amazing. His design that since I just did my development I found out that his design kind of remind me of uh, Devilman with the fur on his leg and fur on the wings the horn yeah he's, he's kind of like Devilman Yep, I think I'm done with number 4 uh, So moving on to number 5 and this is a, This is one of the really challenging one uh, Noitora, right? And he has 6 hand So I have to figure out how to fit in all hands I mean arm Into this composition and I have a weird shape of number 5 yeah, so as you guys can see on my webcam, I'm like trying to picture it on my mind first before I do it. I already did a sketch on my uh, sketchbook where I usually draw like a, um, a starting idea of what I'm going to do, but it's always just a starting point. So in here, uh, I'm trying to show his uh, despair so I'm trying to showcase like he's overpowering the opponent so I pick this uh, stand this action pose and surprisingly uh, it went really uh, fluidly I guess yeah and I really like the result of this one it's like this is not the one that I imagined and not the one that I initially sketched on my sketchbook. And I'm just surprised that uh, 
it really looks in this pose. Uh, it really looks good in this pose. Adding his face, his crazy face. His face structure reminds me of the Stern Reader Fear Guy, as not. Very pointy, very sharp. Yep, I think we're done with number five. Moving on. Number six. Mm, number six is quite quite easy because I already do this kind of comp composition before. Uh, on my Devilman is Yin Yang, so number six is Yin, I think. Yes, I don't know. It's Yang. Um, yep. Uh, I did quite many composition using this number, but before this, uh, I didn't realize that it's just like uh, subconsciously I do this composition a lot, and so this one is really uh, going to my plan and uh, it just really it's much more easier somewhere it, it's really fit in to his character and I got to show off his attack also yep so Grimjaw is uh, uh, it's really easy on on this uh, post I don't know what I'm talking about I just woke up <laughs> so I figure if I do a voiceover on my um, speed paint maybe you guys can learn something more than just looking at it as you guys can see I stretch his neck so long to increase the dynamic I like to do that exaggerate stuff uh, but uh, I just gonna I think I scale it down a bit because it's too long mm, now his face look more like rim job yeah yeah I scale it down a bit So exaggerating shape is really good to uh, emphasize the movement of your character. Yep, we are done on number 6. Moving on to number 7. Okay, number 7 is hard in my uh, like the way if the way we think about it is very hard because Zomari has like a roundish shape and we have to fit in this uh, angular shape like number seven uh, and I just did my best uh, maybe it doesn't fit perfectly but I still follow I try to follow the aesthetic of this series as you guys can see I talk so much in this try to think what to do with it Somewhere he doesn't pose much, he only has this meditate pose. So what I did is I just draw him doing that pose. At first I tried to make him break his head because this is what he did when he released his resurrection. And then it looks kinda creepy and weird. So I just stick to the normal pose and play with uh, 
uh, play with how I utilizing uh, the shape uh, as you guys can see I try to put like a smoke and a shine to kind of work around the number seven the smoke is like I try to break apart my big circle around this uh, lower torso as you guys can see those like pumpkin thingy happening on his uh, lower torso so I use smoke to kind of break it like in, uh, in between all the circle as you guys can see I make a like a smoke or whatever particle is that to kind of cut the circle so it won't be uh, as solid as it is and you guys can see I make that uh, spectrum thingy uh, to showcase its power okay moving on number eight. Oh, number eight is kind of fun to do because it's uh, Sazile Polo Grunts and it's just, it just uh, really uh, challenging and fun to do because I want to show him uh, representing madness and yep I, I kind of like uh, giving it a lot of uh, thought as you guys can see I'm doing nothing for I don't know how many minutes just imagining uh, how I want to fit in this eight this number eight on him <laughs> And I picked this crazy pose that I think really fits him. He just like do this kind of ballerini pose, like laughing madnessly. So I tried to use his uh, that, that weird wings thingy to kind of work around the number eight. And at first I found like a really uh, I found the wrong reference as you guys can see I tried to make like a skirt on his lower torso on his lower body uh, it appear uh, apparently that one is the one that he when he got defeated by Mayuri so I I'm gonna I I change it later so uh, as you guys can see in here I already start to get a feeling on how I want him to look. Yeah, uh, here I try to um, work around that skirt. It still look weird. And drawing his face in this angle is crazy because I never draw someone in this angle before. <laughs> but it's a really good practice because I never did this before and when you did it, it feels ooh. You can draw face in this angle. <laughs> he just looked crazy. I love how he looks. So this video is actually sped up I think 1000 times It was originally 4 hours something And I sped it up to 20 minutes So I think you guys would love to check, check out like a really short uh, process of artwork Nowadays you guys don't like like very long video right? <laughs> So I changed the, I mean like I uh, I flip my canvas to this side because I want to show off his uh, awesome eyeshadow. <laughs> so and then I try to make his hair like a flip, flipping backward, like to uh, follow up to the dynamic of the uh, of his movement. And I really like it. 
it has uh, erasing some part on the sketches. Oh yeah, and here I finally found the sketch that uh, when he first released this form. So I added more detail. It was uh, instead of that weird skirt, it, it was this awesome design. Maybe designer dress. <laughs> So just continue working around this composition. Yep, uh, I think we're done on number eight. Number nine, yep, uh, this one is also very, very hard. This one is very hard because Aruniero's uh, resurrection is just a pile of monster. So I was thinking so hard what to do with it. You guys can see when I try this. Uh, on my first try here we go I spent a lot of time talking on the stream on how to actually do it so at first I tried to make that monster to fit in this comp and it appeared to be just very uninteresting just like like a I don't know what is in this I think it is the the base form is uh, octopus so I decided to use his normal form first because I think it is more appealing and then halfway when I do this I realize maybe I should mix mix it with his resurrection and I want to uh, show his cayenne face because uh, I really like the aesthetic of that uh, skeleton inside the tube, so I just do use cayenne spear. And here I try to uh, like incorporate the the octopus and in here only I found that um, I, I got a good feeling about it like okay this is it this this is what I want to do so as you guys can see all that uh, suction on the octopus part I rotate it so it doesn't like hit, it doesn't uh, what do you call it like intercept the line doesn't intercept with the spear it will create more clean line so this kind of small thing you guys can uh, adjust in your artwork because you guys are the designer you guys are the god of your creation you can reposition, you can um, adjust all these small small details to avoid discomfort tangent. Okay, I'm done with number 9 and now it's Yami. Yami is kind of easy because uh, he doesn't... Uh, and he's like using number 0, it's just circle. So this one is really easy. I was like uh, thinking whether to make it symmetric or not and then I decided not to make it symmetric because this is more dynamic so I'm, I'm going with the last form of Yami 
and he's representing rage so I make him like uh, attacking and ready to attack or something so all that aspect of that is just a uh, tiny bits of uh, essence that I try to incorporate in this piece maybe I'm successful maybe I'm not but it's good to have this kind of uh, ideas behind the piece that you're working on so you are not fall astray from what you try to achieve when you have this guide kind of like a guideline to your artwork uh, it, it kind of give you a destination where you want to go and uh, except just okay I just want to draw him so yeah try to find concept and all this piece even though uh, it's part of being my practice and a challenge if I can pull this off um, using number as a composition I never done this before so and I'm really glad that it went well and yeah uh, I hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video just leave a like and comment below if you guys want to see more uh, time lapse like uh, like this thank you very much for watching funeral grave signing out Thank you.